The bill's chief sponsor, Assemblyman John Berzicelli, said that in facing death, many terminally ill people choose palliative care or pain management. But there are New Jersey residents who would like another choice. They like to be able to have assistance and aid in dying when medicine has reached its limits and they have, and they have themselves reached the point of, of, of satisfaction of conscience that they would like to conclude things. The bill is modeled on a 16-year-old Oregon law. Last year, 122 Oregonians requested lethal prescriptions, Berzicelli said, and of those, 71 ingested the prescription. The hearing featured powerful arguments on both sides. Proponents of the bill talked about ending needless suffering. Sadly, there was nothing that we could do but watch him suffer. His final months were nothing but torture. So he took his life with a shotgun, and it was three days before we found him, and it was not a pretty scene. It's not really about death. It's, it's about how we choose to live our final days. Opponents of the bill included the disabled and a hospice nurse who said in all her years, no patient or family member has ever requested death. Regardless of how prepared for death that person is or how deep is his suffering, every person clings to life until their last breath. Every person. Let's get truthful. This bill is not about death with dignity. This legislation is about legalizing assisted suicide through medication. New York Detective Stephen McDonald, shot and paralyzed in the line of duty 28 years ago, argued every life has redeeming value. Knowing these stories I've heard, many of them before people suffering, their mothers, their fathers did, children thinking this might be a um, compassionate way out of life is, is um, well-intentioned, but it has, would have a bad effect on life in general. The Assembly Health Committee approved the bill eight to four along party lines, but even the proponents recognized that getting it through the full assembly, let alone the Senate, could take months or even years. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.